Hi, I'm Ashley Billington, and you're watching The Warm-Up, presented by your local North Texas Geico agents in the Colony, Keller, Arlington, Plano, and Mesquite. Last week kicked off our big school games, and what a schedule we had. There's going to be just as many great matchups this week as well, and we will have a full slate of games coming at you on Wingstop Inside of High School Sports. Cedar Hill takes the field for their first game of the 2020 season against Arlington on Friday night. The Colts handedly defeated Mansfield last week 37-7. B.J. Rogers rushed for 104 yards and three touchdowns in their win. Cedar Hill is beginning their 2020 and preparing for the District of Doom. The Longhorns have Tennessee commit Caden Salters at the helm and he'll be using his dual threat abilities to put up points. Lone Star and Alito will be going head to head as well this week. Alito went big in their first game of the season as they won 70 to seven against Weatherford, which answered some questions about whether they were gonna be as explosive of an offense without Jason McClellan, and for the first time in a decade, not having a quarterback with the last name of Bishop. They have a big task ahead of them with Lone Star. The Rangers no longer have the state record holder, Marvin Mims, as a weapon on the field, but Garrett Rangel is still leading this offense. They lost their first game of the season in a close one to North Horn. Denton Ryan and Denton Geyer go at it for the Battle of Denton. Both the Wildcats and Raiders have firepower on offense, and this is the first time these two teams have met since 2015. Ryan is ranked the number 17 team in the nation and took a big win for their first game over Martin, 47 to 24. Ryan has five Division I commits and a defense that is ice in their veins. Geyer is ranked 29th in the nation with a state rank of four right behind Ryan. They beat Hebron 56 to 33 last week and feel prepared for a battle of Ditton Friday night. The last time Geyer and Ryan played, Ryan had a 10-0 season and won their district championship. I'll definitely be watching that game. You'll be able to see all of the highlights this week on Wingstop Inside High School Sports. Also, make sure you vote on our Hot Play of the Week poll presented by Louisiana Hot Sauce for a chance for your community to move on to compete for the Play of the Year. Here's last week's winner. Also on Wings Up Inside High School Sports, we'll have a great story on the grandeur of Texas high school football compared to other states around the country. Yeah, I think the coolest thing uh, about this community and this program, um, you know, is it feels like a huge family. Uh, you know, I, I came from Florida, um, who had a really good setup and a really good uh, supporting cast uh, in Gainesville at Buell's High School. But um, you know, here it's it, there's nothing like Texas high school football. Um, you know, looking up and seeing 15,000 people in the stands on a Friday night. Um, you know, the, the thing I'll never forget um, is throwing a 80-yard touchdown against Louisville with the stadium packed and just hearing the roar and the siren is something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. So. Garrett also took home our GiveMeTheVin.com MVP bobblehead last week on Wingstop Inside High School Sports. On the warm-up, we want to recognize players and teams from outside of football and basketball that are making names for themselves in their sports. This week, we have another Lovejoy Leopard for you. Let's meet Avery Carlson. Avery is a setter for the Leopards in the class of 2022. She lettered as a freshman and has been their starting setter since she took the hardwood. Avery has played in 284 sets and has 2,834 assists. Her defense is phenomenal too, as she has 578 digs and offensively 95 aces with 219 kills. She helped lead Lovejoy to their seventh state title last season and the All-American setter verbally committed to Baylor University over the summer. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the warm-up, the extra point. How many Division I colleges can you name? More than Richland's Cole Benson? TU, Texas Tech, uh, not saying Baylor, not saying Texas, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Georgia, Georgia State, Georgia Tech, Florida, Florida State, Wyoming, UCLA, Cal, uh, Maine, Maryland, Alabama, Ole Miss, man. You haven't gotten to Florida yet. Florida, Florida State, um, come on. <laughs> New Mexico, New Mexico State, San Diego State, Oregon State, Oregon. 
As of Monday, District 64A has modified their schedule to allow for makeup date as a precaution. The makeup date is November 7th. This doesn't have much to do with high school sports, but in Fort Worth, there's a dancing dad that has the state's eyes. Not being able to go with his son for checkups and treatments for his cancer, Chuck Yielding started dancing in the parking lot to lift his spirit. Look at him, he's in bright colors. It took off and he does it every time they go to the hospital now. The Yieldings want to give back and help those in need and they are hosting a blood drive on October 3rd, this Saturday in Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for this episode. Follow all of Inside High School Sports social accounts to stay up to date with everything going on in the high school sports scene. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube that throughout the week will get you ready for the main event. Wing Stop Inside High School Sports on NBC5 Saturday at 6.30 p.m. hosted by Pat Doney. Thanks for watching The Warm Up, presented by your local North Texas Geico agents and the Colony, Keller, Arlington, Plano, and Mesquite. To get more information or to get a quote, go to geico.com forward slash DFW. I'm Ashley Billington, and I hope you're as ready as I am for all of the gridiron action.